with Shooting Ranch Customer Service. Uh, got another customer service video for you. We got some phone calls that we're gonna handle. Uh, we're gonna show you how we do things here at Shooting Ranch Customer Service. We care about all of our subscribers. We thank all you for subscribing, for watching all the videos, leaving comments, liking, thumbs up, super chats, all that good stuff. We appreciate all that you do. And we're letting you in on the inner workings of how the Shooting Ranch Customer Service Department works. When you have a complaint, criticism, compliment, constructive criticism, whatever, you leave a message, you can call me. Here's the phone number up here. People were asking in the last video how they can contact. Here's the phone number that you can call. You can leave a message. In true customer service fashion, we never answer the phone straight to voicemail. And then with the emails, you email there. It may take us a week to get back to you, but we will get back to you. And we appreciate all those. I will also be going through comments that are left on the videos and we'll be handling those as well as time goes on here. Today's video is to kind of give you guys a little bit of an idea. We're not going to go all out on it. We'll do a couple phone calls. We'll save some phone calls for another video, but we're just going to give you a little bit of an idea because I know some of you guys are new. Some of you may have seen some of the old videos and that's great, but we have new people and we love having new people and we want people to see what we do and how we handle things. Shooting Ranch is a business and Shooting Ranch is professional. Shooting. We'll be back here in a minute. Buck's actually going to start this off with the first one because the first phone call is directed at Darlene. Not surprised at all, but I'm going to go grab Buck. He's going to come back here. He's going to do the first one. I'll let him handle that. And then I'll jump in and we'll do the second phone call. So we'll be back here in a minute. Stay tuned, everybody. Hey everybody, Buck here. Okay, so Maddie told me that this first one was about Darlene. Okay, am I surprised? No. Nah. Okay, Darlene, pretty cool. Okay, she's doing all sorts of crazy stuff. Hanging out. She's riding stuff, jumping, doing wheelies. All sorts of, she's nuts. Okay, but this first complaint is about Darlene and her boots. Okay. So somebody called in here. I've seen this name before in the live chats. I know she's big. She's always in Maddie's lives, okay? I've seen her in Jerry's lives and Jason's lives, and she's always coming. We're going to see what she has to say. I can see her name here because it transcribes the messages when somebody leaves a voicemail. So let's listen to it here. This one's a minute long, so we're going to listen to it, and then I was going to try to call back, leave a message, and let them know, you know, what we can do for them, okay? So here we go. Let's see what she got to say. Put this over here closer to the... Maddie, it's Poppy the Good Troll down here in Florida. Florida. I have a complaint about Shoot Dang Ranch. She got complaints. I saw that Darlene wearing my cowboy boots. She wear them. Now you listen here. Don't tell me what to do. I, wore those cowboy boots many, many years. Line dancing. And all on it up with the cowboys. I got fond memories of them pink fringe cowboy boots. I took more of them out when I was a rainbow butt watching them cowboys, them fringe. Let me tell you that fringe on them cowboy boots, they were the ticket. Them cowboys love my fringe. I don't know all about that. I was shocked when I saw Darlene wearing them pink fringe cowboy boots. Those are mine. Why are you they shocked? must have bought them up when they came down here to Florida to meet off. I know my husband sold them to her because I can't find them anywhere. Well, shoot, I'm too old to line dance these days, so I'm happy Darlene's wearing them. I just hope she does some line dancing in because them cowboys love that fringe. Have a blessed day. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and say this, all right? I don't know about y'all, but I listened to that. And first she said it was a complaint. Then she said that her husband sold them, so she should be angry at her husband not shoot dang range. Okay, and then after that, she said that she was happy that Darlene was wearing them. So which is it? Okay, that's just confusing to book, and I think that might be confusing to other people too. But I think what we need to do is we need to call. Okay, we can dial in the phone numbers here. I'm not going to show you it. we got to show some people respect. That's what Maddie said. Book, I don't give no cares, okay? I might even give this poppy to good troll part piece of my mind, okay? I don't know, but we're going to find out. So we're going to put this headset on here okay let me see i'm gonna take this off put this on okay 
and then we're gonna put this on top like this. That way I still look cool, okay? And I can talk to people. All right, so we're gonna dial this number in here. Let's see what we got. Okay. Hello, is this Poppy the Good Troll? Okay, so uh, I know you see here the complaint and your message was very confusing, okay, about the cowboy boots, okay? Now I understand that your husband sold it then, okay? You should be mad at your husband, okay? I know how y'all act down in Florida, y'all get crazy. We see it on the Facebook, the YouTube, the interwebs, okay? Don't hurt him, but you need to talk to him, okay? If you really like those boots, you should get him to get you some new boots. Now, I understand he probably sold those boots because the Cowboys was looking at you, okay? And that's what you said. That was your ticket, okay? So I don't know what you guys got going on with your relationship, but be careful, okay? You don't want Cowboys looking at you. Your husband get angry. People get wild. You know, I don't know. Anyways, I just don't get that. Now, Darlene does wear them well, and we do hope that Darlene does start doing some line dancing, okay? Now, I'm not sure if she's particularly a good line dancer. But you know what? Line dance is line dance. And the way Darlene drinks, you never know what she's going to get into. But we just wanted to let you know, okay, we was very confused by your statement that it was a complaint. That's okay, though. All right? We'll take it for what it is. Thank you for being okay with Darlene wearing them. And we appreciate your support at Shoot Dang Ranch. And this is Shoot Dang Ranch signing off. Have a wonderful day. And we'll talk to you soon. Goodbye. Okay. So, Book, that's how Book handles things, okay? I do it a little different than Matt. You know what? It's all right. It is what it is. But that's that's the first one there uh, we handled. Now, I was going to get going, okay, because I got some napping to do. Jeopardy might be on. And then after that, I might watch Cops. I don't know. You tell me. Okay, but um, I'm going to take my Clear American here, and I'm going to head out, go put on some TV, kick up my stinky feet, and uh, watch, some, watch some TV. And Maddie will be back with you here in one moment, and he'll do a phone call, okay? Okay, everybody, I'm back. Buck's in the living room. I don't know. Anyways, I can't believe that Mrs. Backwoods let him back in the house. Uh, but I don't know. It's You'd have to see the other videos on my channel to understand what's going on there between Mrs. Backwoods and Buck fighting all the time. Um, but anyways, we got a call from a Willie who has another odd, um, I guess it's more question than a complaint, but this is part of it. Sometimes stuff is complaints, some of it's uh, questions, it's all over the board. You never know what's going to come in. So the, here's the other one. I'm going to play this right now. We can listen to it and see what Mr. Willie had to say. Hey, uh, this is Willie. And man, I'm waiting on my five gallon shoot thing ranch bucket. I need that bucket bad because I got to really go bad. Uh, where can I buy them five gallon shoot thing ranch buckets? Kind of, it sort of looks like them Lowe's buckets or them Harbor Freight buckets or them Home Depot buckets, but there ain't nothing like a shoot thing ranch bucket. I got to have one of them buckets. Uh, I need you to get back to me because I got to go. Okay, so he's wondering, and I guess it's a more of a question of where he could purchase a shoot dang ranch bucket. So let's... uh. Let's give Willie a call here. Put my headset on. Okay, and dial the number. Okay. Oh, I went to voicemail, all right. Hi, Willie, this is Maddie here with Shooting Ranch Customer Service. I understand that you would like one of the buckets like they gave me with the toilet seat. I take it uh, because you have to poop. 
Um, and as you know, watching the Crockers, Jared Crocker, Shooting Ranch, all of them that, uh, one of those videos is in a video without having to poop. So what you can do is you can head down, all of those buckets will work. The specific one that I had was from Tractor Supply. It's a sturdy bucket. I believe that they got the seat from Walmart. And in the future, and I'm not making any promises, there's a rumor that we might try to do a bucket giveaway uh, down the road where you get a toilet seat, the bucket, the whole nine yards so that you can poop out in the wilderness. And we know that's important to people, especially people that like to be out in the wilderness. And Willie, you sound like one of those people that wanna be out in the wilderness. So um, I will be looking into that. I'll be talking to Jason and Jared and we'll see what we can come up with. Maybe we'll even get shooting ranch buckets. That sounds excellent. Maybe we can work out a deal with somebody, but we'll have to look into that. Things take time. It is a business and we'll work towards it. Our big thing is just trying to make sure that you're happy. So if you would like to go purchase one, I would suggest going to Tractor Supply. You can get yourself a bucket there and uh, you can poop happily outside. Um, have a wonderful day. If you have any other questions, comments, anything, feel free to give us a call back. Um, have a wonderful day and hope to hear from you soon. So that's pretty much how we handle things around here. Um, now this channel, okay, is an interactive channel is what it is. You out there in YouTube land, the subscribers can call in, email, message, whatever, your complaints, compliments, whatever, and we'll use it and we'll make a video and the Crockers watch this so they'll get to hear um, some of the stuff that you're saying. And I'll handle it and some of it's gonna be funny, some of it may be serious, you never know. You never know what's gonna happen. That's the fun thing about this one is we have no idea what's gonna be happening. Um, I really do hope that you guys do end up liking this and that you realize that this is a comedy channel um, but you never know what's going to happen, like I said. So I'm going to get going here. I do appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Those are just two calls that we got. Um, I'm going to save the other ones that I have for the next video. There's some calls, there's some emails. And don't forget, down in the description, in the there's going to be the link or the phone number and the email so that you can get a hold of me if you would like to call in, leave a message. I'll never answer the phone. If you want to use a fake name, you can. You can even call from a block number, whatever. It doesn't matter. So have a great night, everybody. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.